cigar. That's William Penn, America's greatest cigar vet. Five cents each. Five for 25 cents. And by the Gillette Safety Razor Company, maker of the new slim adjustable razor and the remarkable super blue blades that give all but unbelievable shaving cover. Foamy, the cream of all instant left. And Right Guard, the new power spray deodorant for men. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, a ringside commentator. Mauro Mina of Peru has had good fortune in bouts with American fighters, makes his local debut as he takes on Henry Hank of Detroit in tonight's 10-round light heavyweight feature at Madison Square Garden. There's a carnival atmosphere at Madison Square Garden tonight, a Peruvian carnival, as maybe thousands of his countrymen have come here to cheer him. Thousands who live in the New York area, hundreds of whom have flown up here by special plane from Peru to root for their hero. The 29-year-old Mina, whose birthday was Thanksgiving Day, has had 11 fights with American opponents and has won all of them. On October 17th, he defeated number one ranked Eddie Cotton of Seattle. Mina hopes that tonight's bout will propel him into a championship fight with Harold Johnson. Overall, the Peruvian has won 41 of his 44 bouts with two losses and one draw. He has registered 21 knockouts and has never been stopped. The 27-year-old Hank seems to fight better as a light heavyweight, where he has no weight worries. A seasoned, hard-hitting veteran, Hank has won 53 of his 72 bouts with 16 losses and three draws. Like his opponents, he has never been stopped. Hank is 5 feet 10, while Mina is 6 feet 1. At the New York Commission weigh-in today, Mina was 170 and a half, with Hank a quarter pound heavier. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round light heavyweight fight between Henry Hank and Mauro Mina. And now up to Johnny Eddy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wish the Bronx welterweight contender luck. He's leaving for Rome. Isaac Loga. Isaac Loga. Here's another day to remember, ladies and gentlemen. Las Vegas, Nevada. The day, Saturday night, December the 8th, for the welterweight championship of the world. Emil Griffith will defend against the leading contender. Here he is, Jorge Fernandez. Tuesday night. Tuesday night boxing at Sunnyside Garden. C.L. Lewis will meet Jose Stabla. And the next boxing show here in Madison Square Garden, three weeks from tonight, Saturday night, December the 15th, heavyweights, Doug Jones and Zorro Foley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Bill Rex, Ali Idala. The timekeeper is George Bannon. Counting for the knockdowns will be referee Zach Clayton and the referee for the main event, Arthur Mercanti. Ten rounds from Lima, Peru, wearing black trunks. He weighs 170 and a half pounds. Moro Mina. Mina. His opponent from Detroit, Michigan, wearing the white trunks. He weighs 170 and three quarters. Henry Hank. Hank. Main event, 10 rounds. Another bout to follow. Good evening, Marl and Henry. It will not be necessary to interpret my instructions because they have been instructed earlier in the day. However, in the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Step back on the command break. You will be penalized for any illegal blows. Do you understand? Shake hands now. Come on, boxing at the bell. Scoring in New York, a round basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on an official's card, and they are wearing eight-ounce gloves. Madison Square Garden has its biggest crowd in a long time, and Mina has his own cheering section. So has Henry Hank. Hank in the white trunks, Mina in black. Hank is a real belter. Mina, we are seeing for the first time, they say he's a very aggressive fighter. He uh, is supposed to have forced the action as a rule, but he is backpedaling at the moment, as you see. Hank's best 
bounces his left foot. Henry Hank Pepper heavier than he ever has been in a battling contest. Rounder Madison Square Garden, Henry Hank of Detroit, the White Trunks, Mauro Mina of Peru and the Black. Hank has been the aggressor so far, and that piles up points. a long left hand that Mina has and it is starting to find Hank. Hank's trying to get close to do a little bombing. Hank has one of the best knockout records in boxing, by the way, has scored 36.
appearance of Nina set up a cheer. In the corner, we see a familiar figure facing him as American handler, Freddy Firo. On the uh, left-hand side is trainer Joe DeLeon, and on the outside of the road, Roberto Davila. The manager, Oscar Turan, is not there. Uh, the fighter, Mina, was born in Chincha, near Lima, November 22nd, 1933. Henry Hank, on the other side of the ring, was uh, born in Greenville, Mississippi. Back in uh, February 9th, 1935, Whitey Bimstein, another familiar figure, is facing Hank. His manager, Harry Baxter, is leading in from the right-hand side, and his personal physician, Dr. Robert C. Bass, is on the left-hand side of Henry Hank, who has had two pretty good rounds so far. Coming up to round three at the Garden, Hank is in the white trunks, Mina in the black. Referee is Arthur McCanty. Grab a hold of uh, Mina's glove that time. <laughs> Round three of a ten rounder.
understand that Henry Hank's six children are watching the fight tonight out in Detroit. Good punch. championship will be decided at Las Vegas on December 8th when champion Emil Griffith fights Jorge Fernandez. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Check this solid schedule of events coming up on ABC. The best in boxing every Saturday night. The best in bowling as Mick Dutch uh, follows the fight. Two exciting American football league games tomorrow. San Diego at Houston, Oakland at Dallas. Next Saturday, ABC's Wide World of Sports goes to Toronto for the Canadian Professional Football Championship, the Dominion's annual Grey Cup game. And it won't be long before you'll be watching all the Orange Bowl activity from Miami. In January, Challenge Golf, and Gary Player makes its debut. All these events exclusively on ABC, America's number one network for sports. Mina's countrymen cheering in the background. Henry Hank in the white trunks. Mauro Mina in the black. Round five of the ten rounder. No knockdown. And now Mina seems to have taken the aggressive. So for the first time he is moving in. left hook. <laughs> Certainly the most active round of the fight. Mina has changed his style and is moving in with short punches. And he's using his right hand.
Back to the rope. Ten seconds to go in round five. at Madison Square Garden, Mauro Mina, the black trunk, Henry Hank, the white, he's a light heavyweight, Hank 170 and three quarters, the heaviest he has ever fought at, and Mina 170 and a half. Mina's change of pace seems to have bothered Hank, he was backing away the first four rounds, is now moving in. again starting the box and Billy Collins. Torres is one of the outstanding lightweight prospects on the West Coast. This year he has had six fights and won every one of them by a knockout. One of his victories came in the first round, three in the third, one in the fourth, and only one foe was able to stay around as long as nine. He has won 48 out of 52 with 40 knockouts. Collins has a punch too. He KO'd Antonio Marcella and Tony Fortunato in his last two outings. Overall, he has won 32 out of 40 fights, scoring 23 knockouts. Battling Torres versus Billy Collins. Ten rounds are left next Saturday on the Fight of the Week. By the Gillette Safety Razor Company and by General Cigar Company, makers of William Penn and White Owl Cigars. Coming up to round seven, and the contest is getting a bit closer. Hank got out in front. First couple of rounds, but now it's Mina coming on. Mina is six feet one, Hank is five feet ten. Yeah. Author 
Peter McCanty, the referee. Hadn't had too much to do so far. There have been no knockdowns. Seconds to go in round seven. They're both rallying. There's the bell. Coming up to round eight of an exciting ten rounder at Madison Square Garden. Mauro Mina from Lima, Peru. Black trunk. Henry Hank of Detroit, the white trunk. a real clinch in the fighters yet.
Carson is blocked. That right hand was not blocked, however. These boys have durable chins. Affair. Billy Bellow of the Bronx won a split decision over Gil Diaz of Puerto Rico and a lightweight bout George Foster of Cincinnati defeated Oberto Gercado of Puerto Rico a six rounder the Bellow Diaz bout was eight rounds by the way a semi-final and in an opening four rounder Billy Lonergan of Rosedale Long Island and Joe Rodriguez a couple of well-awaited battle with Lonigan defeating Rodriguez, who comes from the Bronx on a split decision in four rounds. We're coming up to round nine of the feature bout. There have been no knockdowns and no clinches in the fight so far between Mauro Mina of Peru and Henry Hank of Detroit. On the left-hand side is Mauro Mina in the black trunks. On the right is Henry Hank in the white. Round nine. Arthur McCanty, the referee. Boys have given very good accounts of themselves tonight. Up to now in round nine of a ten rounder. In eleven fights with American opponents, Mina has not lost up to now. Now he is piling up points by being the aggressor, as Hank did earlier. Hank is waiting for a big bombing flurry any moment now.
30 for the 10th and final round. Referee Arthur McCanty, who has done his usual good job, has the fighters tee off for round 10. Hank, the white trunks, mean on the black. No knockdowns, no clinches. Nobody's been cut. But they've been hit. in the fight. The cards are being gone over by commissioners Frank Morris and Jack Duberstein. Uh, looking them over there. Scoring here in New York is by the referee and two judges on a round basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on the official's card. The gentleman with the eye shade behind the officials is Freddie Eisenstadt, very popular linguistic sports uh, writer. He speaks several languages. There's Johnny Addy, and they're going over the cards. It could be very, very close, by the way. We thought Hank built up a strong lead in the early rounds, and then Mina came whittling away a la the election returns recently, and uh, oh, I've got it close. I don't know how you have it, and I don't know how the officials have it, but we'll know in just a moment. Meanwhile, Hank is pacing the back and forth. Mina is quite quiet, quiet in his corner. Here comes Johnny now with the cards. Here's Johnny Eddy. Judge Bill Rex scores at five, three, two even, favor of Mina. <laughs> Referee one Arthur vote for McCarthy Mina. has it six, three, one even, Mina. Judge Ali Aydala scores it 6 to 4, favor of Hank, the winner by majority vote, Mina. Mina 
Mina wins a split decision. Arthur McCanny and Bill Rick vote for Mina. Adi Idala votes for Henry Hank. And Mina has now had 12 fights with an American opponent and has won them all. There's the happy Mina with his handlers. We invite you to be at television ringside next Saturday night and enjoy the 10 round lightweight match between Battling Torres and Billy Collins from Los Angeles on the fight of the week. Produced by U Beach. Directed by Mac Hemian. Associate Director Bill Lilling. Technical Director Bill Dagenhardt. Stay tuned now for Make That Spare.